When the council decided to unban Darkrai down to Smogon's highest tier of play in OU, I think we all had the same idea it might get ridiculous at some point. However, none of us could predict that it's actually been surprisingly not broken so far and actually pretty mid compared to Darkrai standards. It's in top viability sure and everything but what we're accustomed from Darkrai is just not giving. So why all of a sudden is Darkrai not broken and could perhaps stay in OU for the rest of the time? Before we answer this question, if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content just like this as we are on the road to 20k subscribers and your support will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for all the recent support as well, it's honestly been amazing and without further ado, let's get back to the video. So Darkrai for the majority of its existence was really broken because of one move, Dark Void. This was a powerful move that let Darkrai set opponents to sleep 80% of the time since its release. Dark Void really paired up well with the signature ability of Bad Dreams, where Pokemon that are asleep will take damage every turn as well. You can see how annoying this got pretty quickly for the opponent's side, as now Darkrai has the option to boost its offenses even further with Nasty Plot and with its fast natural speed could sweep the rest of the opponent's side afterwards probably pretty easily as well. For this particularly main reason, it is no wonder that Smogon banned Darkrai since its days in Generation 4 to Ubers because that particular combo alongside its high offensive stats makes it an unbelievable Pokemon to counter. However, there is something that interestingly happened during Generation 6's time where throughout the VGC community, a Pokemon named Smeargle took control of the metagame primarily because of Dark Void. If you guys don't know, Smeargle can learn every move in the game because of its signature move of Sketch, and decided this time to use the move Dark Void since in doubles it can put both Pokemon to sleep instantaneously unlike the single target Spore move it usually uses. Smeargle as of a result became a nightmare in VGC, and this move became pretty spammable throughout its time in Generation 6 from what I remember at least. Anyways, you guys get the gist, and Game Freak suffice it to say we're not a huge proponent of Smeargle learning this move, let alone abusing it in the VGC scene, especially since it was well regarded sleep is pretty much an insta win for a lot of teams, AK, it isn't that competitive. So sleeping both Pokemon was a huge no-no, probably in their minds. They stripped Smeargle of Dark Void, but didn't stop there as they reduced Dark Void's accuracy to 50% as well. Now I don't know why they reduced its accuracy as it wasn't even Darkrai's fault and it was Smeargle's fault for learning it and using it. Mythical Pokemon in VGC has also never been allowed once, so the fact that even nerfed Dark Void to 50% when it has no impact on the actual metagame for Pokemon just also made like no sense. They indirectly punished a Pokemon that wasn't at all responsible for the damage that happened in Generation 6 and basically stripped away its entire gimmick. The result from this dropped one of the most infamous Pokemon in Ubers downright to straight non-existent in Generation 7 basically. And now we enter Generation 6, Ubers has had enough of this non-existent legendary and tossed it down to OU where it's been able to thrive but not as broken as many people thought it could be as before. Many of you know players in Generation 9 because of the loss of Dark Void have been trying to substitute it with Hypnosis which is a more accurate version of Dark Void in this day and age which is actually pretty hilarious to even think about. The issue is, it's still relatively a good chance to miss, which oftentimes than not, you'll be punished for doing so as opponents will probably hit you back hard. Funny enough, I've encountered probably like twice in the OU ladder the idea of Gravity plus Darkrai because from there, it can be back to its old shenanigans. However, I haven't seen this nearly as much because getting Gravity off can be a pain and then you have to get in Darkrai, it takes quite a bit of turns to get into and you also have to sacrifice a move slot for Gravity as well for your Pokemon so that can also be up in the air as well. It's a long process for Gravity and Darkrai that I haven't seen being used a lot. Anyways though, with no sleep basically in OU, its ability to Brad Dreams have been also non-existent. This has Darkrai converting into a more offensive potent user with choice items or expert belt or even life orb and capitalizing on its already high offenses not to mention its pretty good natural speed. But that also comes with a large number of issues that hold back Darkrai from being relatively broken. The most obvious issue we should mention is the encounterment of Deoxys speed being in the tier as it's the fastest Pokemon by far and can take it out with superpower or focus blast which has been relatively common for offensive deoxys speed stats. Speaking of speed, pokemon like iron valiant or iron boulder etc are faster when booster energy activates which can completely neutralize darkrai and what it's trying to do offensively. 
This same idea can be applied to numerous choice scarf users, or sun, sand, or terrain abusers at the moment, etc. that can abuse Darkrai at the speed game since it anyways isn't all that bulky as like other Pokemon. But what about choice scarf? I mentioned earlier how choice items have been relatively popular. Now yes, it is true, but Darkrai loves to use choice specs more because it's high natural speed and tier, so to boost its offenses, especially when you consider how power up the meta is in generation 9, is probably the more smarter route. That extra speed sure can be good, but that power will be even better since it's anyways naturally fast and can probably get more out of it than choice scarf. Another huge issue for Darkrai, even if it's choice, being locked into relative moves. For instance, being locked into Dark Pulse can make you super vulnerable to fairy type Pokemon like Pre Marina switching in, giving your opponent an instantaneous point of advantage. You could be life warped and solve the problem, which would be relatively fine if you're comfortable sacrificing its frail HP in the process. In short, Darkrai is sacrificing something in exchange as it goes for more power, either its HP or being locked into one move that could come bite it later on. The choice is really up to you. And on the topic of fairy type Pokemon, one that really comes to mind that could block choice moves, other than Sludge Bomb obviously, is Clefable. This is an auto OU staple that has been around for a while and could block his Dark Pulse, Focus Blast, Ice Beam, etc. There's also Blissey that is also available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's OU tier and if you recall, it was used to stop Blood Moon Ursaluna in the past prior to its ban. Blissey is a special wall tent that can take any of Darkrai's special type moves and completely wall it in return. I think we also have to mention Tinglu, as I know even though Darkrai is Ice Beam, it could potentially whirlwind Darkrai out and switch it out and stop Nasty Plot sets in return. Basically, in short, there is just so much counterplay towards Darkrai as has to be more and more offensive to combat its losing its gimmick. Moving on to the topics of holding items in Generation 9, as you guys know, holding any other item than heavy duty boots makes you super vulnerable to the hazard filled metagame that there is in this generation. Gliscor is unbanned, there is Rebombi, obviously both Deoxid forms, and other Pokemon that you already know about. This means Darkrai will be taking chip damage every time it comes in, and with its frail HP, then it can be subjected to Rillaboom, or King Gambit, or the plethora of vacuum wave users that are in the tier, etc., that are all priority moves or Pokemon with priority moves that can take it out after the fact. For all these reasons, Darkrai has been quietly and shockingly balanced within the metagame so far. If you don't have strict counters for it, it can ruin your side, however if you do come prepared, it can be a relatively no-show as well. No Dark Ride has severely limited its gameplay and now it's finding itself to be harder to dominate with its high offenses if there's no Pokemon falling asleep on the opposing side. Power Creep has definitely had Dark Ride balanced at the moment, but I'm curious how the metagame will evolve with Dark Ride over time as probably things will get banned and the metagame will find itself to be a bit more stable as well. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Darkrai in the metagame and thank you to my members for their continued support. If you wish to support me even further, the links to my YouTube membership and Patreon are down below. Comment down below the sleep emoji, join the Chompy Discord, and with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching as always.